And welcome back on Hawk Talk. Jeff Dooley joined by Hartford Hawks guard DJ Mitchell. And uh, DJ, tell us a little about yourself. Um, so I'm originally from New Jersey. I started a little fact about me that most people don't know. I actually started playing basketball my junior year of high school. And I played for Jimmy Salmon. He um, was my high school coach out of Mac Conception. Then I went to prep school and I played for Jerry Quinn. And both those coaches helped me get to Coach Gow here at Hartford. Wow, you started late in the game as a junior. Why'd you wait so long? Um, I had always played basketball growing up, but I wasn't my, my sport growing up was really football, so I wasn't as focused on it or as into it. And then in my junior year, that's kind of when I, I don't know, maybe like a, a flip switched in my head and I was like, oh, like this is what I want to do. So that's when I decided to really take steps, take strides in basketball and really focus on it. Who was it that saw your game and said, you know what, you may want to play this in high school because you may have a chance to get a college scholarship at some point. I think it was really my parents. They, for a while, like I, I would just like obviously I go to the park, play with my friends, or like stuff like that. And my dad one day like said, "Hey, like you're athletic enough to, you might have a shot, and like you're able to do this and that." And most other people, like I guess he was able to see the people that were around me or that I was playing with, and they were in good positions to go to certain schools or you know play in college. He was like, "Hey, like you have a real chance to do this too." So he's, he's been, him and my mom, obviously my dad and my mom have been the biggest ones kind of pushing me and helping me along throughout this entire process. What other sports did you play as a kid? So I played football until about, I think it was eighth grade. My mom told me I wasn't allowed to play just because she saw like a lot of injuries happening. She was like, oh, like, I don't want this to be you. So she, she kind of stopped, like she turned that off, you know, kind of shut that down pretty early. I played a bunch of sports. I, I tried out for baseball. It wasn't necessarily my thing. And I played a little bit of soccer growing up, but that stopped at a very early age. So as a kid, what would you say was your favorite sport? Was it football? Oh, yeah. Football was definitely my favorite sport. I was I, Growing up, I was a bit heavier. I, or I looked heavier, and I wasn't as tall. Okay. Because until about 10th grade, I was still like 5'2", five, 5'3". And then I had a growth spurt. Uh, so, who's yeah. your favorite football team, GJ? Oh, my, I, I'm a big fan of the Giants. They haven't been too good <laughs> recently, but that's my, you know, that's where I'm from. I got to support. Absolutely. What do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? Um, there's, uh, there's a lot. There's this is the best answer. I just like to, when I'm not playing basketball, I like to experience new things. I like to try new things, whatever. It, even if it's nothing crazy or spectacular, like just something different, I think, and just having those new experiences are those, those are some of my favorite things to do. What is something? For example, like, yeah. For example, like maybe about two weeks ago, I, I, I'm not big into art or painting. Like I'm not, I've been like too great at it, but I went to an art class. That was the first time I've ever done that. And I enjoyed that. It was it was pretty fun. Would you make Just stuff like that? What was that? What did you make in art class? Um, a painting of the Eiffel Tower. If I, I got to get a picture so, to show you. Yeah, absolutely. But um, it, yeah. It was cool doing that type of thing. I and mean, it's amazing when you see artists and what they do. And I'm just mm -hmm. always blown away. Like I can't believe a human being actually painted yeah. this. Amazing. Seriously, it's un unbelievable. But you, yeah. When you look back at, at Hartford, and obviously you're a junior, so you've got a, a, this year a big year, and then you know a couple more years as well. Um, what would you say your career highlight is at, with the Hawks to this point? On the court or off the court? I would say on the court. My biggest highlight on the court? Because you've had some big threes that have been different make difference makers in games. That's true. I. I... I don't know if this is my biggest highlight, but one of my favorite games was the Binghamton game last year when, when we were down about 20 or 21 and we ended up coming back and winning. And I really, that's one of my favorite games, not because of me at all. It's just because I, I'm not sure if other people agreed like with this, but I think 
we won that game because Mike, you know, he really stepped up. And that's a highlight for me because all season, like I'm, I've been trying to help him get confidence, you know, kind of be able to do his thing and being able to watch that and see like I was a part of help, helping make that happen. That was unbelievable. And then it, it started rolling over to all the other games, you know. Sure. DJ, what is the biggest thing that you've learned since joining the Hartford men's basketball program? The biggest thing that I, it's a tough one. There's a lot. Yeah. I have to think about this. Just some of the things then. And maybe going from high school where you played a, a, at a pretty competitive level to division one, where you, you're challenged, you know, with America East games, but also your non-conference schedule, you're playing some, some of the best teams in the country. Yeah. I, I would say the biggest thing that I learned that I didn't kind of, I wasn't, I didn't have this in high school or in prep schools. When everyone's truly bought into a, a program or a system, for example, how we are here at Hartford, then anything can happen. You know, I, you don't, you're not closed minded. You're not saying, Oh, we can't do this. We can't do that. Like genuinely, like we, if we all buy in, we believe that we can do it. There's nothing that's going to stop us. How did a year at prep school help prepare you for the University of Hartford men's basketball team? Um, I think I definitely needed that year in prep school. Just beyond like um, basketball related stuff, it was more a confidence thing that I, I didn't necessarily have because I in high school I played with Jalen Carey and Justin Winston. And Jalen Carey, he was like the guy of our team. He ended up going to Syracuse. Justin Winston ended up going to St. Bonaventure. So I kind of took a back seat to those guys. And I think in, in prep school, that's when I realized like, oh, like I'm the guy now. Like it's my time to like step up. So I think that was definitely like one of the biggest things that helped me get like to here at Hartford. It was really my confidence. And in closing, DJ, what is your goal this year? Personal or team goals? Whatever you think. Well, I I want to, other than being like being able to have the chance to play, I want to, whenever we step on the court, I want to win every game, win everything, win our conference championship, make it to the tournament, win games there. But as long as we have that chance, I think we'll get it done. Well, you're fun to watch play. Keep up the good work and appreciate a few minutes with you today, DJ. Thank you.